What the heck? That's the billion dollar sphere mimicking the moon in Vegas. That is just unreal. That's so cool. Today I get to work at a place so close to the sphere that uh, really get to just check it out. That's so unreal. And then Finally made it back here. Who's awake? It's freaking cold. It's like 36, 37 degrees. But let's hike in. Cool. We almost got to the peak of this mountain. We're trying to get over. Let's check out. We found somebody else's dick site. But this is huge amethyst. A lot of that. You know, he's looking for the pockets. Looked like someone found a pocket there. See some teeth in there, but it takes some work to get to that. This is cool, we're getting close. Getting there. Close to some good stuff. Nice. Let's keep going. Yeah. Tree roots are breaking it all up. Yeah, it's like. See this new grounds that where we can eventually get back to and dig and see if the roots broke that up for us. Doesn't look like it's been dug. Beneath us has. And then we got this huge vein here. It goes up that way, it hasn't been dug. You can see all the teeth in there. Just a toothy vein. It's sure to be amethyst down in here. Someone started, but that's about it. How they got to. Uh, future dig site? Cool. Come across this cool little pocket. And little crystals. No amethyst. But another cool vein. We're coming across some more. Some more cool remnants of someone's digging spot. This little amethyst vein. Just kind of look at the uh, assess the situation. Let's see where all the pieces might be coming from. Let's see if it's something you want to continue or move on. I went just in that right there, but might have been in here, and they just buried it back up. I'm gonna move on. Moving on. Check this out. I started following some of these chunks of white quartz that has amethyst in it. Following them up into this bush line, I started ripping out the bush, and I noticed that there's white quartz in here. So I started yanking up some chunks of white quartz with amethyst in it. So, and then a little pocket right here, like. I don't know about a little pocket, but as I pulled the bush out, some dirt started to fall in a hole. So yeah, maybe a pocket of some sort, but I wanted to start pulling out some of this white quartz to see. This is a little vein right there, amethyst. But see if we can follow it to maybe some. 
<sighs> Maybe some teeth. Oh, we find some big purple amethyst teeth before we even get to the spot we're intending to dig. That's awesome. So, we'll just yank up a few pieces here. Let's see what we find. Uh, not little teeth, but no, big chunky crystals. So, but you never know until you give it a shot. Like this, got some more purple in it. See the purple on it. So, I don't want to get out my rock pick because I don't want to damage anything. There's some teeth right there. But not amethyst. So, maybe rake a good size hole here, real quick. As <laughs> is clear and milky. And, uh, definitely not going to walk away from this spot until we give it a good once over. A little pocket there. You never know what you're going to find until you look. <sighs> oh, that big plate wants to come up. digging here definitely yeah see what's on the other side of this bad boy not there okay I feel like I'm wasting precious time yep there's amethyst here but oh, excuse me there's amethyst where I'm headed so let's head there All right, let's move on. Ooh, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we are. My spot. Looks like it's untouched. No one's been here since I've been here. All right. I set that bad boy up. First water bottle. All the cast off to the side. And then all the little stuff that I couldn't take back last time. It's just didn't want to take the little guy stuff. That's pretty cool crystal right there. Wow, is that some citrine in there? What? I didn't take this bad boy. Uh, Might have been full. But a bunch of clusters that I found last time right in this area here. So I intend on going deeper expand this bad boy out because as i was getting through the layers of basalt the pockets uh the crystal started to get a little bigger a little more color a little more a little more away from the clear and into the citrine and, and amethyst and then we got some room to go up and follow it and we can even come back and get all this back here so we got many trips out here to get this dug up Let's see what we find today it's gonna be awesome out so far been here by 10 minutes so far I decided to start digging back down here first and then work my way up with that hole there. Get a big ass trench and then kind of start bringing it over and then go down from there. But as I'm starting to dig here, I hit some basalt and I started to separate a plate and I saw pop to the surface. What this bad boy? Check him out. Oh, that's so cool. I don't even care if it's just clear, but look at that. A little baby growing out of the side. That's so cool. Perfect tip. Leave that right there. And then plate that kind of popped back in here. Could be nothing. 
Gotta be a plate covered in crystals. So, don't know till you check it. But that crystal came to the surface, it made me think that I hit a plate full of crystals down here. Guess not. Not yet, at least. Not so far. Go a little crystal. A little term. A little baby growing on the other side. That's cool. It's a good start. All right. Finally, on to some amethyst now. So it's a good thing I started down here. And as you can see, I really started making an indention. And it goes in about two feet. I'm starting to work my way up now. And as I'm starting on this wall here, peeling it apart, this first chunk came out of this area here. Peeled that away and I saw some crystals in there. Check that out. We got some amethyst in there. Some little crystals, but it's a huge area. Of the little, am uh, oh my God, purple gold amethyst in there. Sweet. Our first good amethyst score i can't wait to get this home and get it all cleaned up that's our first really good score and uh and now it starts now we're uh gonna start peeling the layers apart working our way up and as we peel just check out what we got see how it's a little hollow sound to it so Try to find the area that will let me get my rock hammer in there and pry it out. And hopefully save as big a piece as possible. Ha <laughs> ha. See, we're just hoping every time you peel it apart. That on the opposing side is just packed with crystals, you know. Maybe you peel it apart and there's a pocket there and you look inside and you could reach in and fill and big crystals and stuff and you're like, oh man, it's gonna be a good day. So that's all we're doing now is I know there's amethyst in here. Uh, up in there's where we found the bigger pieces last time of worker. We'll work our way up there to it. Definitely want it to kind of peel apart the way it's already fractured. I'm trying to pull a nice chunk out with some crystals with you on here with me and if not we'll be back yeah I need to come in here a little bit all right we'll be right back with some goodies all right now check this out so I'm starting to dig underneath here now and I'm pulling uh, starting to pull out some of these little plates and they're just full of little crystals in there. Now, this one, I think, is amethyst in there. Because this chunk, let me see, it was like that, pretty much. And I broke it apart, and there was crystals on the inside. That piece, not so much. But crystals on the inside here, and on the outside, which I kind of cleaned up a bit. It's real faint amethyst faint so it's small stuff but you gotta get oh wow what see what I'm talking about so let's, let's give her a quick clean quick cleaning just a Reveal if there's amethyst. Or just regular 
clear or whatever. Today, the room in our backpack is designated for purple gold or citrine. Oh yeah, a little bit amethyst in there. Hopefully, as we get deeper, just like up further, as we get deeper, the crystals get bigger and darker. Some very light amethyst. Check this out. So, man, wait till I get these pieces home and cleaned up. Wow, look at that. It will be able to see a little more color. That's cool. I'm going to keep this piece just like that because it's everywhere on it. That's so cool. You're coming home with that. Eh? All right. <laughs> Oh, see, so just peeling apart. You just peeling apart. Anything now? Uh, this is so fun. Every piece you pull off is. You guys that do this understand what I'm talking about. Every piece you pull off is like a Christmas present. What? What's going on here? <laughs> it looks clear, maybe just a tiny hint of amethyst. What do you think? Should I take this piece home and, oh yeah, look right in there. Maybe just a tiny hint of amethyst in there. We'll see if she makes it home. So. Uh, yeah. I gotta peel these layers apart. Oh yeah. Come on, big stuff. All right, back to two hands. Get this peel apart. We find some monster amethyst. All right. All right, this is a good one right here. It's getting bigger, but check this out. Amethyst pockets all over this bad boy. Look at that, check it out. We got pockets everywhere. Yeah, and they are all amethyst, but it's hard to tell. They got a coat of dirt on them. I scrubbed them up a little bit. But it's just everywhere on this piece. Amethyst pockets galore. Wow. Yeah, that's so cool. That's a pretty good chunk, too. And uh, building up a little bit of pile of some amethyst here. And that piece, I peeled right out of here. So... It's a good spot. I was just, um, I was using my rock hammer and just kind of pushing the end down until I hit something like that. And look at that. What? Oh, wow. Let's clean that up and see what she looks like. Oh, what? Awesome day today out here. At the Kingston Range. I almost lost my brush. Yeah, so, let's see just how much on this piece. What do I need to break off? I don't want to take a lot of weight if I don't need to. Oh, wow. Check. Oh man, it was uh, it was about 36, 37 when we started this morning, but the sun came out, warmed it up. I think it's gonna be about 58 to 60 today, but as you can see, we're just chilling in the sun, digging for some purple gold, and uh, we started down on this side and working our way up. And as we're getting up, 
just like I was expecting. Oh, wow, this is a cool piece. As we're getting up, the pieces are getting bigger. Let's check this out. Check it out. Oh, yeah, and it's amethyst. It's a very light amethyst, but... I think I'll break off the back end and just take this front section. Not that much if I can. Look at that. That's cool. What? Add it to the pile. I keep going. Oh, man. Does it keep going? slow go because I don't want to miss any really cool clusters or nothing so I just kind of take my time like I said before layer by layer I can feel it wants to get so let's just got a plate right in here oh yeah yeah it's gonna be this plate in here and then we got all these other plates all this is gonna break apart and come out it's all gonna come out in little sections little pieces see so let's just give it a little tap but if there's a crystals on one side of it you don't want to smack it too hard and break your crystals a lot of times if you move one piece it kind of Unlocks the jigsaw puzzle. You start moving material. Yeah. Nothing there. Nothing there. Sweet. This is, there's going to be some really good stuff in here. It just has that hollow sound. And I can, when I tap, I can feel the vibration on all the plates underneath me. So, sweet, sweet, sweet. Hole's getting bigger. I was able to get my pick underneath the corner and kind of pop it up. Ooh some crystals in there so I want to just kind of pull up all these people oh, what? what we're finally getting the good stuff look at that come on daddy wow no 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 oh well, well open it up and see what else <coughs> they want that big ass piece anyway <laughs> we'll take the smaller piece look at that Shit, that's amethyst. Oh man, and that's just the first piece we pulled out of that. Ah, let's hope this whole plate just kind of popped up. So let's hope there's some big, big, good quality deliciousness. I got some more. I'm just gonna be right in there. We're gonna clean these up. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's gonna be a lot of amethyst in there. So, instead of cleaning every piece as I pull them out, we'll just kind of pull them out, see what we're kind of looking at. And then I'll get them all cleaned up at home and show, show everything to you at the end of this video. Oh, wow. That's going to be cool. <laughs> More amethyst tips in there. Yeah, I don't know how much of this is in this area. How many little pockets might be crammed with dirt, but... <sighs> We still got all this. We still got all the way over. Several trips, like I said. This is going to be a project 
to take several trips. Ah, a lone little tiny baby. The tiny baby. Put that guy right there. I'll never find out again. Uh, uh, uh. Little tiny crystals on the end there. You know, when you first come out to the Kingston Range and you finally find some crystals, you're like, oh my God, they're like milky white. Oh wow, look at this. <laughs> you start taking stuff home and then as you come in here more and more, <laughs> oh nice, some tips in there. We'll get this all cleaned up, some more amethyst. But as you find more and more, you're, um, you, my buddy, my buddy Luke's come out here. He's, uh, he's found a pretty good pocket with some really good stuff. Oh, yeah. And uh, jokingly, he says to me, I would leave that, <laughs> but I take it. So I call him spoiled, but that's what we all want, man. We want to all come out here and find the most fantastic, huge pockets full of amethyst <laughs> some little pocket right there little small crystals but we all want to find that big stuff that spoils us until i find that stuff i ain't been spoiled yet so i'm taking home some of this smaller stuff you know Look at that beautiful purple in there. Oh man, this is a cool, cool spot right here. And we got this big piece that I flipped over, as you can see. Look at that, oh my God. So is there a pocket in there? Obviously, I'm not going to take this huge piece like this, so we're going to smash her, and I think it's going to be a little pocket on the inside versus, like, how fully. Let's see. Well, I'm going to use two hands on this. I'm going to use my chisel and try to gentle with it. If there is a pocket, I want to save as much of it as possible. A nice day, a nice day to be digging in the dirt, like grown ass men playing. That's what it feels like to me. It feels like I'm playing outside. Oh, what? Yeah. Amethyst, amethyst, that's amethyst pocket there. If I find a big enough piece, it's just like covered. Oh man, wow, look at that. My pocket gonna be in there. I gotta try and get this piece cleaned up a little bit. Is this gonna be a monster I have to take home? <coughs> Whew. I'm looking for some big bad crystals. Come on. Yeah, there's an amethyst pocket right in there. <laughs> nice. Again, it's going to be me picking and choosing what I'm taking home and what's staying on the mountain. And I ain't mad. That's an awesome problem to have. So... Sweetness. Uh, let me get out the rock hammer and continue. Continue peeling away. Uh. <laughs> oh, 
awesome. Oh man. This hole's getting bigger and bigger. Noise. Alright, check this out. So as you can see, this hole is enormous. <sighs> Don't worry, this boulder's not gonna fall on me because it is a huge boulder. It goes out another 10 feet, so but starting to dig into this side here. Check this out. What? Oh no, where to put it? There it is. Look at that. What? Oh man, is that citrine? Is that a cluster of citrine? Wow, that's so dirty. Oh my god. Look at that. That's pretty chunky. Beautiful. Digging with my hand so it didn't get struck with anything. This is gonna go in its own little secret compartment on the way back. But look at that, so cool. Oh yeah. Man, came out of in there somewhere. So, let's get back in there. Let's get back in there. Oh yeah. What, look at that. Oh, go yeah. Oh, I'm still going. Man, just keep pulling out. Awesome plate after awesome plate. I mean, I don't know if I'm in an area of citrine. I won't know until I get these cleaned up. If I get these, um, I'm not going to hit them with. Let me see. I'll just I'll start with uh, soapy water. I'm sorry. I'm just like just staring at this thing like wow. But um, clean it with some good soapy water and high pressure, uh, and see what it looks like. If uh, and then I can look at it under a jeweler's loop and I can tell if it's just staining from iron oxides or if that's actually been several plates now of citrine. Just awesome. A pile of goodies. Why? I'm going to have to pick and choose. Well, I love picking and choosing, but I'm in this area here now. Oh, wow. Check that out. Okay. So. I'm just kind of moving dirt. Oh, wow. <laughs> Check that out, another little plate, yeah, little guy. But all I'm doing is pulling back the dirt. And um, see, so got these, check this out, see this root? There was a plant, there was actually two plants growing right here and they were pretty good size. And when you have a plant growing right on top of a vein, you basically have, you basically have been blessed because now your plates the vein has been broken up for you you just have to get down to it and once you're down to it you can start pulling out You're going to see these. Wait till the end of the video, guys. I'll get these cleaned up for you. <laughs> so you could really see. It'll just take forever if I pause it, clean it, show you, pause it, clean it, show you. And there's so many. This is like a, this is an awesome spot. I'm definitely, ooh, more on this right there. <laughs> Sweet. Keep that up. Check it out. Will you come to show off some more of your oversized? This guy comes over and shows me something he's found over there. And I'm like, man, I'm finding quantity. But he got quality over there. Oh, you definitely got but quality, man. The day ain't over yet. So let's get back to it. Well, that's the hole for the day. Oh, shit. Yeah, tired. Man, was going crazy on that hole. Sun's going down. Josh is ready to go. Back breaking work, but awesome. We got lots of goodies today. Saw these other pieces earlier. Nice amethyst veins in there. Oh my god, 
this bad boy over here, Josh tried to hide for himself. Hey, it was just a, a tri-sided <laughs> Christmas. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Look at that. That's wild. There's a good one on the side. All right, let's hike on out of here. It's going to take me about 30 minutes to decide what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to leave. Ooh. So, that's cool. That's a cool piece right there. I don't care who you are. That triple term right yeah. there. Yeah, nice. sweet. All right, let's get on at it. All right, guys, check this out. Back at my house, we have some amazing treasures that we had found out there at the Kingston Range with our buddy Josh. Let's show you just how cool these pieces look now. This piece here is beast here. I ended up naming Lucky. <laughs> because this piece I had to carry in my arms on the way down and um, I was not going to leave this thing man it just has all these amethyst all these purple gold pockets all throughout it and um, on the way down the mountain I took a good spill land on my ass this piece come hurling out of my arms but took zero damage so I named her Lucky but look at all these amethyst pockets going in there. That is so cool. Just all over. And um, I just didn't want to break this piece out there. Smash her open. I thought if I can get her home just like she is, that'll be a cool display piece. But that is awesome. Get her a little better cleaning. And that purple will shine out a little bit more, but it's definitely purple gold. Man, we got some amazing pieces out there. Check these out. Wow. That is so cool. Just so fun digging out of that mountain. Man, this is why I can't stop going back. I mean, some spots, even after cleaning up the crystals a bit, you can still tell there's a little bit of citrine in some of them. Some of them, a little bit of smoky in there, just a little bit. Most of them are just like violet, you know, light purple. This piece is just so cool. That's so cool. A mouth all around it. You know, a lot of pieces you don't know what you're getting until you get them home and get them cleaned up. But check that out. Look at all those terminations on that piece there. That little plate. Just a fragile little plate of beautiful purple gold. <coughs> Excuse me. That is just amazing. Look at all these. Wow. That is so cool. Wow. Let me show you. Let me show you something. I love when you have the, all these smaller crystals and then just big fat crystals piercing through. Look at these. What the man, that's so beautiful. This one here. Little citrine in there with some clear in there. bad boy right here this one I scrubbed up really really well and with the jeweler's loop you could tell this big crystal here is it's like half citrine and it's inside there as well but it's like half citrine half clear 
Very cool. I love these little pieces. Little fat crystal tip in there. Some little things going on. Just so many cool pieces out there. I get that very faint amethyst. That is so cool. Man. Look at this one right here. Look at that. Purple gold. I love going out there. King Syringe. Man, I can't believe I've lived in Vegas for about 30 years of my life. And just the last 10 months, I've known that this place is about a two and a half hour drive from where I live in Las Vegas. Oh man. Look at that purple gold. Look at that, guys. I appreciate you watching these videos. Glad you like them. And, uh,. If you ever get a chance to get out in the great outdoors, go find something awesome like this. This is so cool. It's hard for me to ever buy crystals now, knowing that I can just go dig them up. At least the amethyst and... Just so much funner. They just mean so much when you pull them out of the earth yourself. Ooh, look at this little guy. That's so cool. Check this one out here. Check this guy out. Check this out. This piece is awesome. Big pocket right in there. All those crystals. That right there. All right, and then we got another chamber over here. What? Let me flip it up on its side. More chambers, what? It's purple gold explosion on this piece. Just all over, check her out, what? Oh, what, look at that, man. I really didn't see a lot of these pockets on this piece until I got home and really hosed it off really well. But, oh my God. This piece is bad. Oh, wow. I mean, it was an amazing day out there at the Kingston Range. We got our mouths. Oh, these are so cool. Look at that. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back. I can't wait to get back. I know exactly where I'm gonna start, and that's where I left off. Oh, wow. Amazing. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like my videos, or just come back. I'm gonna continue knocking out these awesome locations like this. Wow. It was a good day out there. <laughs>